Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Adrian and I'm currently a nursing student at Chamberlain University. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about uh, fundamentals patient care. Um, normally, this class is paired with pharmacology, which I did take, um, but I eventually had to drop uh, pharmacology due to mental health reasons. Um, I will be discussing that in later videos, but I am doing much better now um, and I'm happy to be back. Um, so I'm only going to talk about fundamentals patient care in this video. Um, so getting to it, uh, fundamentals patient care, um, I really feel like this video is going to be pretty short, shorter than my normal videos. Fundamentals patient care, um, so before fundamentals patient care, there's fundamental skills. And in that class, as I discussed in my last video, you learn a lot about um, skills and you do checkoffs and things like that. You also, in that class, um, you also learn, um, you know, fundamentals of nursing, a lot of fundamental concepts that you learn in that class. Um, this class is really no different. It's really a continuation of fundamental skills. Um, you're still learning a lot of, you know, fundamental core information. Um, I can recall uh, taking fundamentals patient care, learning about respiratory acidosis, uh, respiratory alkalosis, metabolic acidosis, metabolic alkalosis, concepts like that. Um, it's really, like I said, it's a continuation of fundamental skills. Um, you do cover um, lots of other topics in depth. Um, definitely in this course, you do learn things that do require you to study. So like I just mentioned, learning about like respiratory alkalosis and acidosis and all of those things, um, you will be tested on those subjects and you will be required to study and be able to identify what, um, you know, based off of a question, what uh, the scenario is, you know, exhibiting. You know, is it respiratory alkalosis or respiratory acidosis, um, other concepts like that. Um, you do learn lots of other things in this class. Um, fundamentals patient care is the and when you're also taking pharmacology. This is the session where you go to clinicals. Um, so I will be making more of an in-depth video um, talking about, you know, my clinical experiences later on. Um, but I will say that in this session when I had fundamentals, uh, patient care and pharmacology, um, going to clinicals was really, really great. It was a really great experience. And for those of you who are in nursing school or you guys are at Chamberlain, um, I'm really happy and excited for you to go to clinicals because it really is a really great experience. So, um, so yes, this is a session where you go to clinicals and um, a big part of fundamentals patient care is that you learn a lot about patient care. And this is the session where you really start to learn about things like care plans and putting them together. Um, you have to put together care plans for clinicals. And that's kind of something normal that you uh, will be required to start doing uh, when you go to clinicals from now on. And so you kind of learn about that in this session. Uh, fundamentals patient care. Uh, my professor that I had uh, personally, um, she was really great. Um, unfortunately, she was going through a lot of really heavy personal issues, but she enjoyed teaching the class and um, she was a great lecturer. Um, and we went through so many different things. Like I can't even begin to describe this class. Like I mentioned, it's fundamentals. You're learning fundamental things um, and it's like all over the place. It kind of feels like. Um, the things that we learned in fundamental skills, it doesn't necessarily flow into patient care, um, but it's all the same. Like it's fundamentals. Like you're learning. Um, I remember one point we were learning about grief and the stages of grief. Uh, we were learning about, like I mentioned, you know, respiratory acidosis and alkalosis, all these other things. Um, and we were learning about all kinds of other things. 
Um, so it really kind of is all over the place. Every week is a unit and in that unit, uh, you know, they will cover certain topics. So um, it's very important in this session that you stay on top of notes. Um, take notes, take really good notes. Um, pay attention in lectures. Um, that's really all I can say. Uh, we had issues with testing at our campus when I took this course because we were having issues with um, like power. Um, I think we had some like inclement weather. So we were testing on campus, uh, which is kind of something that you do. You test on campus and uh, due to power problems, we were having all kinds of issues accessing the exams on campus and uh, it was just kind of crazy. Um, this session was like all over the place, um, apart from what I was going through personally. Um, but we still made it and our teacher was amazing and she really bent forward and backwards for us and really made sure that we were all good and we were all okay. Um, and she really pulled through um, and yeah, we ended up finishing the course. Um, this session, this class, you know, just because it's fundamentals, you know, this is not a class to underestimate. Um, like I mentioned, you still need to study and there's definitely topics um, that will require you to like review and pay, you know, pay attention, take notes, all of that. Um, so yeah, don't underestimate this, uh, this class. So in this class, um, apart from exams, there are, you know, in general assignments that you need to do. Uh, there was a group project that we had to do. Um, and so that's pretty much it for this class. Part of this class is, part of the credit for this class is doing clinicals and actually going to clinicals. So when you get into this session, um, you get in touch with your clinical instructor and your clinical instructor is kind of like your other professor for this session and for this course. Um, and so you make sure that you keep in contact with them and um, you do all of your care plans and submit all of that paperwork and all of that so that you can get credit for the clinical aspect of this course. Um, but other than that, that's really all I have to say about this course. Um, I'm going to be honest, I don't remember too much about this course other than it was really like, you just got to study when you really need to study. Um, it wasn't that bad. I did pretty, I did pretty good in this course. So yeah, it's not, it's not that bad, but don't underestimate it though. Don't underestimate it. <laughs> this is still a course that you still need to stay on top of, stay on top of everything. That's pretty much it for this video. This video was really short, but this is really just over one uh, class that I took. Um, as I mentioned uh, before, I had to drop uh, pharmacology because uh, I was going through some uh, mental health issues and some other personal issues, but everything's good now and I'm doing really, really well now. So um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, please follow me on Instagram if you haven't. Um, feel free to message me there. Uh, feel free to leave me a comment um, and thank you guys so much for liking and subscribing. Um, thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video.